bad. Huh? Sever eliminate simply sever eliminate is pretty good. Everything must change. Nothing stays the same. Oh, got my whoppers. My last box. I swear. I can't do this without my Pringles. Nothing stays the same. Young becomes the old. This you have been told. What's up, wise man? Okay, let's get in here and, uh, uh I'm going to stretch for this one. I'm going to take my time. I hope y'all got a minute. I'm going to take my time and talk about this dude. I'm going to take my time. I hope I don't leave anything out. <sighs> okay. Welcome to Rico the Opinionist. Well, welcome to my Rico the Opinionist page. I am Rico the Opinionist. And I just share opinions about stuff that's in the news. And I'm kind of, I'm like this far behind on a lot of stuff. But I'm going to catch up. Uh, if I have to do one tonight and do another one in the morning. If I feel up to it after this one, I'll do another one. But uh, I'll try to give my thoughts. I have some more Derek Jackson stuff. Uh, I have some uh, some Jim Crow, you know, people are saying, they're talking about the Georgia election or Georgia uh, Republican politicians with the new voter uh, described as voter suppression. They're trying to talk about Jim Crow. Nicholas Brabson, what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? And a happy birthday to your little daughter, too, man. I'm telling you, all your children, both of your children look like you, bro. They got that smile. It's just that Brabson smile that's going to... Just, just lighten up the world wherever they go. Or brighten it up. That's what they say. Yeah. Uh, Andre Rogers, what's up? Uh, yeah, this is Rico the Opinion. This is my Facebook page. I'm also going to upload this to my YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, hey, share, share, share. And, uh, it's also on my on my YouTube channel. Share, like, subscribe. You know, some of my opinions are kind of rough, kind of rough for folks and who are extra sensitive about opinions. It may not be the place for you, and it's okay because I'm building that platform for those who don't mind hearing my thoughts and perspectives on various topics. The way in which I deliver, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to know a lot of things, but I do like to think that I have something to say about most things. Y'all hear me? So that's all. I'm just, just like everybody else. Just I just have an opinion. And I'm not saying that they're right. And a lot of y'all know a lot of them not wrong either. So I'm just going to go there. So uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Share, like, subscribe to the Facebook page, YouTube channel. And uh, if you haven't bought my book, The Greatest Pain I Ever Felt, The Conversation with My Absent Biological Father Who Dared, Who Did Not Want to Be Found, it's still, it's in PDF form. It's only $10. Hit me on the Cash App, PayPal, Rico Rivers, Cash App, Rico the Opinionist. And uh, if, if you decide you want to check it out, it talks about when I met my father for the first time and, and what he said to me, how I found out about him by accident at age 22. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of juicy because I kind of went there. Uh, and he did too. Uh <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Emmanuel, Tony Bickham, I mean, Tony Bickham, my man, what's up, bro? Yes, mean, what's up? Welcome, y'all, because I, I am going to go in on, uh, this, this topic tonight. But anyway, if you have not bought it, check it out. My, my PayPal, my Cash App are on this Facebook page. Check me out. Uh, check out the, the PDF. Yeah, I'll just put it in the PDF right now, so, yeah. Just go through and scroll through it and read it and let me know what you think. All right, so, anyway... I don't know if any of you have seen the latest um, contribution to hip hop or let's we'll just say music in general from Lil Nas X. So, how many of you have seen it? I'll throw some thumbs up or say I have or whatever you want to do while you're on this live so I'll know that you've seen it. I saw it, uh, I processed it, then I watched it again to make sure. I was seeing what I was seeing or saw what I saw. And you know what? I'm going to say this before I get into who Lil Nas X is. Um, I read a lot of comments 
uh, I even went on, I went on YouTube and checked out some reactions. I saw a reaction where he was on with, with a, a gay dude who has, uh, uh, a, a YouTube channel and they did reactions to his video together. And Lil Nas X broke down the video and what it means, even with him, uh, coming down the pole, uh, with the booty short sole and, and the bulge coming down the pole and it gives Satan the lap dance and all of that. And when he's... Making out, he says it's the the devil and Eve, or the devil and in the in the garden garden of Eden, and they're making out with each other. Oh, it's a whole lot going on, but I don't want to go through all of that because I have what's called overall observations, right? I don't need to get into specifics because if you have not watched the video, go and watch it. But I just want to respond to those who've seen it. Uh, Tony Davidson, what's up, my man? I want to respond to those who've seen it. I'll respond to what they were saying by saying this. Uh, I heard comments, statements like, oh my God, that's satanic. Oh my God, that's Illuminati. Oh my God, it's so gay. Oh wow, that video is so gay. It's satanic, it's Illuminati. And then he has some tennis shoes where it said he's using human blood, which probably is, and they're called 666. I saw all of that. And yeah, he's looking, everything they said, he's looking just like it. And the video is gay, gay, gay all the way through it. He, 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 he describes himself as queer. And so, but here's the deal. And I'm not debating what they're saying or what they've said and what you're going to say when you watch the video as well. See, I like to point out stuff that we seem to miss or some contradiction or some hypocrisy. Isn't it interesting that... Y'all saw all the gay, the devil worship, the uh, uh, the Illuminati, the nod to the Illuminati. You saw all of the symbolism of Satan in that video. But when WAP came out with with uh, uh, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion and her latest Cardi B's video up, y'all didn't see the nod to the Illuminati. Uh, uh, Satan worship, homosexuality in those videos, I did. I saw Paul, Paul, what's up, Paul, Paul, watch them, what's up. I saw homosexuality, I saw Satan worship, I saw uh, uh, Illuminati symbolism all through WAP and Up Up. But I don't understand how we didn't say the same thing. Now we said it was like a thought and a slut and a horror video, we got that right. But we didn't look deeper. We, I guess guys and ladies were so busy looking at all that ass and, and those bulk tits and all that twerking that we didn't pay attention to the women tongue kissing each other and filling each other's booty and rubbing up against each other. They had the same element as Lil Nas X. So is are we being are we expressing some kind of gender bias here because he is a man? All of a sudden you see all of the gay, all of the satanic, all of the Illuminati in his video? Come on, y'all, y'all. Don't do that. I watched both vid both videos not and I and I saw everything. Leo Walls was good. I saw everything. And I'm just like any man who watched WAP. I've only seen that video. I watched that video one time, and that's all I needed. It was just trash, disgusting trash. It was just so. It's. I, I almost needed to take a bath in, uh, you know, some something that prevents or soothes itching. There's something that helps with breaking out in a rash when I watched that video. It's just. It wasn't even, you know. But I could stand up, Jannard Rainey. What's up? I could stand up. More so than WAP. But they had the same elements of Lil Nas X's Montero video. And that's his real name, Montero. And so, I need us to pay, pay attention. Because did y'all know that most of these rap videos and all these R&B videos have the same elements? Homosexuality, satanic worship, Illuminati symbolism? Mm-hmm. Every rapper that comes out... That, He's no different than all, any other rapper. Name, name your favorite rapper. I bet you in his video, you got homosexuality, satanic worship, and Illuminati symbolism. But we seem, to, we seem to see things, I guess, see certain things that we want. 
They all do. It's called the music business. It's called the movie business. It's called entertainment. In order for you to get down with them, you have to get down. So I'm the only one who's watching these YouTube videos. I don't look at them as conspiracy. I look at them as telling the truth. Stephanie Cesar Richardson, what's up? Yeah, so uh, I want to give y'all, can I give y'all my little story of Lil Nas X? And first of all, I want Lil Nas X to change his name to Montero. Uh, because he's a little bitch-ass dude. And I need you to stop disrespecting the great icon himself, Nasir Jones. I need you to drop the X, Montero, because it's not a secret about who and what the fuck you are. See, X was considered to be unknown. Shout out to Dwayne Carter. What's up, my man? X was placed by the names of the brothers and sisters in the nation to say the unknown. I will be named when I, when I grow into my name or when I'm given a name. Lil Nas X, get rid of all of it. Yeah, you little all right, but leave the, take the Nas off. And take the X off, because there's no secret about who you are, Lil Nas X. You little fucker, you. Uh, hey, Venus, what's up? Leon, what's up? So, yeah, y'all share this live. Don't let, don't let people miss out on this. Share, share, please. Uh, so that's what I want y'all to do. But, but, and I thought about this. I said, wait a minute. Because this dude, let's go back to the beginning. Do y'all remember Lil Nas X? Came out with Old Town Road. Remember that? Lil Montero. Thank you, Dewey. Uh, do y'all remember when he came out with Old Town Road? Let me tell y'all something he's doing. Tino, Lucian, what's up? David Brown, what's up, bro? Um, Cuz O, Tino. Uh, that little fucker. He was not accepted initially. And uh, so they had to, he was, it was going, the song was going, but it wasn't accepted initially. Now I'm going to go back a little further, hold that point. If you read in the background of Lil Nas X, he said, hey, I was laying on my sister's couch. Please share this video, please share this live. I was laying on my sister's couch. I didn't have a job. I was just hoping, I was playing the games at home, and I was hoping that she would not kick me out. And so I came up with this song. Because I was trying to get my little rap career off. And I came up with this song. And boom. I had no idea that this song would blow up. And at first they were. Re at first they were. Rejecting him right. But you know how they do. And they want us to believe that. Billy Ray came in to help him. No there was something else going on. Billy Ray got on the song. Because the country community did not want it. And they were still playing it on other radio formats, but country music was kind of tripping. So Billy Ray got it, right? I'm going to tell you all something what happened right before our eyes. They let him in. The song started picking up tracks when Billy Ray Cyrus got on it, right? Oh, down the road, you're going to ride till I can't no more. Down, down, and the little remake, down, down. Billy brought, hey, uh, gave some energy, brought some new life to Billy Ray Cyrus' dead career. And so, it's funny how they found a dead, dead cowboy to latch on to a cowboy that's alive. Because <laughs> Billy Ray didn't have a career. Only somebody who had a career was his daughter, Miley. And, but about this time, she's been a little slut in hip-hop. Y'all remember her on my J's. On, on my J's with Juicy J and them and all that, opening her legs, opening, uh, giving a, a stand-up booty dance to Robin Thief. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin Thicke. On MTV. Oh, she's been a little slut. And acting like a wrecking ball. And all that shit. Yeah. After she decided to come out there, she dissed hip-hop music when she got tired of playing with the Negroes in the ghetto. Then she went back to being white and brought, brought out her little, um, her little uh, country album. Yeah. So... Oh yeah, y'all y'all gonna catch on how they do blacks, and we don't. We're so excited to have them around that we don't know that they're using us. So they brought in Billy Rice, Billy Ray Cyrus, with his mullet and everything. Part in what's the business in the front, part in the back, about all that shit. But if y'all start watching the award shows uh, before he came on, I think he it was before he came on. He arrived on his first show. He put out a tweet or something that said, I'm gay. And boom, he was off and running. 
Y'all understand how they, how you need to get into initiate to get in this stuff. He came out and said, I'm gay. Yay! 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 No, this is my Kermit the Frog hands. Yay! Yay! That's how everybody reacted when he said he was gay. Isn't that something? I tell folks I'm heterosexual all the time. Folks roll their eyes at me. Damn. I'm like, Gavin, what's good, bro? But let us let a young black man or man period, but particularly black men say, I'm gay. All of a sudden, ticker tape parade, they get books on TV shows and all kinds of shit. Damn, we need to protect heterosexuality because nobody else gives a shit. So let me tell y'all something else. Before I go out here and go out. Uh, let me tell y'all something else. I'm going to go back. Pause when the cowboy outfit right quick. Lil Nas X. Let me tell y'all who this little fucker is. What makes him such a sad case. Lil Nas X was at home. Lil Nas X was playing the game. His little video games. Let me tell y'all who Lil Nas X is. Lil Nas X is, you know, he's one of these little goofy ass, corny ass, no rhythm having, no swag having little black dudes. They play this kind of nerdy, corny, Probably hung out with a lot of white kids. You know, they, you can get corny and nerdy like that when you have, when all your friends are white. That's right. Because some of y'all live in the suburbs. All y'all kids, you know, probably some of y'all who's listening now who live in the deep suburbs, your sons, your daughters probably hang out with white kids. And they're just as Oreo and silly. I can, black college? What is a black college? No, I'm going to Penn State. I'm not going to Howard. <laughs> I'm no mother. You know, no father. You know, so yeah, y'all y'all raising some of these little corny heads, But he's one of those little... No corny ass. I'm talking about corny ass dudes. No personality. No flavor. You'd think he had Asperger's. He's like, no. I don't think so. And I'm not making fun of Asperger's. I'm just saying he had nothing. Little corny ass dude. So he was not even fully developed as an adult. So that means he was not great around people in a social setting. Because a lot of these guys who, who are called gamers, they're very socially inept, socially awkward. They're not, y'all know they don't hang around people that much. They wear a lot of action hero, action figure t-shirts. You no know, Marvel comic and DC comic t-shirts. Spider-Man, Superman, Aquaman, and all that. But they, a lot of them have food stains on their shirts or pot bellies and shit. Just corny as shit. Nerds and, and just, and I don't, I'm not using nerd as a derogatory term, but y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Just corny ass dudes. I mean, so, so corny that the corny girls don't even want to talk to them. But all of a sudden, those are the dudes that, that can't get chicks because they don't know how to say, they can't even say just simple hello. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, well, I I walked up to you and I was thinking that um, you know, you're standing here and you're a girl and um, I just wouldn't say um, uh, it's a fragilistic, fragilistic, That's my way of saying hello. <laughs> oh no, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, silly ass dudes. That's Lil Nas X. So they gave him a choice to get in. See, he he hadn't even developed himself yet. And so Lil Nas X, little corny ass, he's, he bit the bullet or he accepted the offer. Come on in. But this is how we want you to come in because he hadn't developed his own personality yet. Y'all know where I'm going, right? He had nobody around him to talk to him. He's a little, remember, he's a little corny ass dude laying on his sister's couch playing the games. That means he was, he was isolating, segregating kind of do. So all this came his way, corny as shit. So they said, okay, we're going to let you in Old Town Road, but this is how we're going to do it. So he, so he allowed them, just for the signing the contract and getting the popular, the fame and the money, he allowed them to make him look like a damn clown. Look like a clown. All his outfits were the silliest shit. This big, tall, skinny, black dude. Come on. Put it together. Black dude on American Music Awards, uh, Billboards, Grammys, a clown. And he could have been he could have been a cool uh, black cowboy. You know, with the leather and, and probably head bang. They had him in these bright colors looking like a clown. Y'all know why they do that to black males to to uh to desexualize them. 
They were not going to let him be a sexy, masculine cowboy. He was not going to be Shaft. He was not going to be a Mario Van Peebles cowboy. Hey, Pearl Walker. Aaron is Donaldson. What's up, Pearl? How you doing? Good. Check. They were not going to let him be a man. No, we're not going to let these white girls in country music throw their rebel draws at you. <laughs> not, we're going to bring you in as a gay, flaming cowboy. And you're not going to be a Nat Love. You're not going to be an original cowboy. You're not going to be a masculine cowboy that, that bucks bulls and rides bucking horses and jumps off horses and lassos little, little cows and shit and, and throw your hand up. You're not going to let you come in as a man, dude. So that's how they brought him in. He accepted it because he had not, he had not been developed as a man yet. Like a rhinestone cowboy. That's right. That's how they brought him in. And he accepted it. Because he didn't know any better. <sighs> Y'all want to see something else? They took that song from him right before our eyes. They took that song from him right before our eyes. When they did that remix, Conscious Society decided, no, we're going to take this. We're going to let him be a clown, but we're going to have remixes. And... When they did the song, they had him up there being a clown, but they brought Billy Ray Cyrus, then they brought some little up, up and coming little 10, 11 year old country singing white boy to also be on the remix. Pushed him to the side as a clown. The little white kid didn't look like a clown. Billy Ray didn't look like a clown. And guess what I saw on a couple of TV shows where they were doing, where Billy Ray was singing a song, there was no buffoonery, no coonery, nowhere. It was just them singing like a Grand Ole Opry country song without that Negro buffoon. And I watched this. I said, God, I'll be damned. These people think they're slick. But see, if you understand what Dr. Frances Cress Welsing has always taught us about the, Dr. Uh, what's it called? Emascul in, um, damn, how can I say it? The emasculation of the black male. The emasculation of the black male. It never stops. And you found one, you found them, a, 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 a little weak one. As you say, we got us one, boss. That was Lil Nas X. They brought him in and made a character of him. Well, he could have been a cool, masculine, tough, black cowboy. But he let them bring him in as a gay dude, a flaming, weakling, broke back, mountain ass black dude. And he agreed to that. And so he has to keep it up because he's already signed that contract. That's why I say he's, he's the worst little bitch-ass dude you ever want to see. Arius, what's up, bro? Happy 10th anniversary of When Pigs Fly. Shout out to ADD. And so that's what they did. That's why I say he, he sucks. So he did all those little videos and all those little different stuff. And guess what? You're like, Rico, when you gonna say it? I don't think Lil Nas X is gay. He's just a corny ass little nerd dude. Who didn't know himself, didn't have any confidence, but these people took him and they created this dude. Because you know why I why I say this? Not let me see. Uh after Old Town Road started going down a little bit and he brought that Panini shit out. Um Did y'all see the story where he was uh <laughs> He he went in the DMs of these little I think they were twins these little little Instagram thoughts he was trying to holler at them and get them to come back to his house little Nas X almost got busted out because they reported it for like a half like a couple of days like whoa little Nas X I thought he was gay I thought he was gay they shut that down yeah I saw it so look at him see he didn't know when he got that fame it opened the door to all kinds of Derrick Jackson action. <laughs> so they had said, "No, fool, put this lipstick back on. Grab this tamarind. That's what you are." So that's how he signed on to that. Grab it, brother. Mary Cotton, how are you? Harvey Thomas, what's up? So that's that's Lil Nas X. He signed on the dotted line to be this boy. So now he has to double down. 
with this latest video. And his community is halfway Lady Gaga's community. And it's interesting because I was reading the comments. They were saying, him and Lady Gaga need to do what? No, he don't need Lady Gaga. But, you know, he's part of a... <laughs> he's part... You know, he has to fill that contract out. I think when he finally plays out, y'all going to hear about Lil Nas X going back to being a, a boy and actually liking girls. And he, then y'all see him lately with those those prosthetic tatas and doing all that. He has to do all of that because he has his audience. They gave him an audience. They took him from the country. Y'all didn't even see this. We weren't paying attention. They took him away from the country. And let Billy Ray Cyrus and the country community have Old Town Road. And took him took him away because they're not going to have no gay dudes singing no country music. God damn it, Uncle Wayne, paying attention. See, if y'all listen to Dr. Francis Cress Wilson in the 90s when she was telling us. If you had listened to Brother Neely Fuller when he was telling us. Y'all can still buy the books. You need to, let me know. We, the scholars have told us about this stuff. I listened. And I watched, you know, where you have these shows like P Valley and all this. I always got, you know, black dudes and they don't never show masculine black men and sex scenes with black women. Maybe a mixed one or a light skin, but they don't never show a, a, a real sister and a real brother in a sex scene. They'll put a dark skinned man with another man in the bed. So that's why I have a different take on Lil Nas X, Lil Punk ass. And he volunteered to do his part in destroying the image or, or contribute to the destruction of the image of the heterosexual masculine black male. He signed on the line to be, be, a, to be a bitch in the rap industry. More so than a young thugger. More so than a lot of them. You know, a lot of them, you know, what they do, they say, look, put the symbols around me. Y'all don't do all that, but I don't want to wear the dress. I don't want to do this. But Lil Nas X signed off to be one. That's what makes him so pitiful. Because he's a corny-ass, nerd-ass, loser-ass little dude. And they took him and they molded him into this glossy lips, uh, eyeshadow, eyeliner, talking about some yes, yes, that's yes, you little, oh my God. And I'm not trying to be disparaging against LGBT brothers and sisters. But I, I'm calling bullshit, and they need to call bullshit on Lil Nas X. Because see, there are some legitimately gay people out there, but y'all shouldn't allow these little punks like Lil Nas X come in and manipulate. Just to get a dollar. Cause that's, I don't think he's gay. I think he's playing that role to get in. And he's going to really have to do some backpedaling when it's over. Because this latest video. And I think it's going to get worse. Because the attack on the black male is continuous. It is continuous. And the sick part about it. Not just because there's an attack that's ongoing. Is that we have people who participate. Who volunteer. To participate in the attack on black male masculinity. That's what makes me so sick. Because gay is here to stay. But you don't have to participate in just so you can, I guess, get paid. Where are your scruples? Where are your mar It's just like these little little bastard rappers who, who yell, uh, who use the N-word all day long in the raps. Who talk about violence against black people, just killing other black men, destroying the black community with dopes and, and dope and violence. They're also little sellout prostitute little sons of bitches. They're disgusting. And little Nas X is right in there with them. They're all doing these little weird ass shenanigans. They all they all dealing with these three things: elite Illuminati shit, devil worship, satanic worship, and what's the other one? Homosexuality. All of them. All of them. I said it. All of them. You can't get put on unless you get down. You see, they don't never do anything in the community. They have to keep the stuff up. And then those little rapper dudes are helping to destroy. Not only like Lil Nas X, 
and putting out the image that when someone sees a gay man, a black man, they think, what is he gay? What is he gay? Because images are real. And if you dare say anything about it, you get called this weird-ass word called homophobic. It's not even a real word. Nobody has a fear of homosexuals or gays. We might be annoyed by them when they just acting really flamey and shit. That can be annoying. Everywhere they go, you know the ones that just, just a parade where they go, yes, I think, yes, bitch, yes. I don't, God damn, come on, bro. Bring it down a notch. I don't have a problem with you being gay at all. But that's, you can be dignified in whoever you are. There's a dignity that's supposed to come with whoever you are. Because there are a lot of thugs and hooligans, you know, but the, there's a dignity. They don't act like that all the time. They know how to clean up and behave. Now, how I know that? It's called the Grammy Awards. All these tough-ass pistol totals, pistol shooter rappers, they get to the Grammy Awards and act like human beings. They dress nice, have on nice clothes. Then they get to the BET Awards, act like <laughs> BET Awards, BET Awards. <laughs> <laughs> the source of words and all of this and act like total street trash and look and dress like it. Then it's funny when we get around white folks, we clean up, we even clean up our English. We got to stop doing that. If we believe that we're genetically superior than white folks, how come we get on our best behavior and white people come around? Okay. <sighs> I'm telling you, that, that dude took all the wind out of my body. So that's my take on the little Nas X debacle. You know, what you see is true. It's devil worship. It's Illuminati shit. And it's homosexuality. And he's a little fake and a fraud. Gay community, get on his ass. But also, when you see Lil Nas X, also recognize the same things in those other rappers, your favorite rapper who uses the N-word, who talks about killing other blacks, no, black men, who, who, who talks about selling drugs and doing gang activity in black neighborhoods. And I say this because I know they're not doing it, talking about killing nobody white, nobody Jewish, nobody Asian, nobody Hispanic, nobody anything. So, I know they're talking only about us because we're the ones that the music business is allowed to just destroy in the music. But you can't say anything ugly. Oh, no, of course not about Asians now. Be careful. But if no one's ever attacked Asians or Jews or Hispanics, white women, none of these black entertainers ever, ever attacked those groups. But they always have such visceral energy for black folks. You know, that's weird. A post-traumatic slave syndrome is a good book as well. Claude Brown, what's up? It's just, you know, but... When you see that, also, like, like as I was saying, Cardi B's uh, video, WAP, and her up, they have the same images. Satanic worship, homosexuality, and what's that? When, what else? Oh, uh, elite or, uh, oh shoot, elite uh, Illuminati symbolism all through those videos. I know guys, hey Molly, I know y'all y'all so busy, especially the guys, y'all so busy looking at all that twerking that's going on, it probably, probably threw you off, especially in that up video. Her up video, if y'all have seen it, it's like those chicks are twerking like they're being threatened. Like, damn, they, they threatened like, they twerking like a gun bill here to their head. I'm like, God damn, I know they had to take some wrist breaks. And, uh, so, and I, and I admit, I watched that video probably five times in a row. It was a whole lot going on up and down, and it's up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. Marquette, Kathy, what's up? Yeah, I, I watch this. I have to watch this stuff so I can develop what is called an informed opinion. And so I'm not going to go any further. Um, that's my thought. If I left anything out about that lame ass Lil Nas X uh, charges to my head, I just want to make sure we got the foundation of who this dude is. He's just a corny ass, nerd ass dude who got lucky and they and they and he got in in the business. And they let him be a, be a clown. A gay dude, and now he's just out of there. And I, I don't, guess what? Some people might even buy his damn tennis shoes. You'd be surprised. Okay, so what I want y'all to do is, uh, first of all, again, if you haven't bought my book, go ahead and check it out. I'm still, I still have it in PDF file, PDF form, uh, Cash App, PayPal. Please send me an email address if you decide to purchase. It's only ten bucks. It's called the greatest pain ever felt. Conversation with an absent biological father who dared to be found 
Uh, it's when I found out about my original, my biological father, that he's 22 years old. Uh, from the people who bought it, it's, it's a good read. And uh, you know, I've really put my opinionated, well, hell, this, this is actually facts, foot in it. So uh, check, check me out. Please like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel and share this live. Even if you if you know some folks who may check it out or hell, checking it out, just now checking what's called a playback, share it, share it as well. So thank y'all so much. If y'all stick around, I'm coming right back. I have another one I, I want to do. So uh, I'll talk to y'all in about, oh, five minutes, maybe ten minutes tops. Peace. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for those of you who shared this live. I'll talk to y'all in a few minutes. Peace.